All right, everybody. It's been over a week since I gave you an update. I was just looking at my last video that was made on Saturday, March 14th, uh, the day after we found out that we were pretty much uh, out of work for the time being. And I tried to make you a couple videos last week, but I just couldn't exactly figure out what to say and uh, kind of trashed them and kind of lost my interest in making them but I figured I'd better put one out there for you guys um, still no work obviously don't know when we're gonna go back to work um, today's Tuesday March 24th and uh, so we're sitting here trying to figure things out yet um, I had a job lined up I was gonna take a trucking job for a while and see where everything went considering uh, the uncertain future I figured I could at least keep working and all that stuff um, and then Sunday night I had a little glitch on the radar and actually Sunday night and last night uh, after dinner on Sunday started feeling a little uh, sick uh, got some muscle aches and uh, my legs were achy and I was tired and drained and sluggish and so I decided to take my temperature and it was up over 99 almost 99.8 um, pushing a hundred and, and it's like oh boy what are we doing here are we gonna get this thing because I'm still in the 14 week window of when I ran my last bus trip so <coughs> <coughs> excuse me um, so I could still possibly show uh, symptoms and uh, so I was supposed to start and go to orientation on Monday morning while well, I notified them of what was going on and that I didn't feel good and didn't think it was wise to uh, go out without knowing what was wrong with me and potentially making people sick. Um, so I postponed that and then yesterday morning when I got up I kind of felt a little bit better and the fever was down for most of the day. I was still sluggish and tired. and. Uh, a little bit achy, but didn't have a fever anymore. So, um, and the wife and I had dinner last night, and after dinner again, the temperature rose and spiked up at 100.2. And I went to bed with that temperature thinking, well, we'll see what happens in the morning. And of course, I woke up this morning again, and the temperature was back down to normal. But at that point, um, I decided that something just didn't seem to be right. So I called the doctor up and, uh, of course, uh, you can't go and see a doctor anymore, so they set up a telephonic visit where I could uh, uh, video chat with them, and you know he could see me, I could see them, and uh, that's how they're doing doctor visits now, at least uh, in my town. <laughs> uh, so I told them what was going on and how I was feeling, but the temperature was kind of up and down, you know, it wasn't a steady constant fever. It was more in the evening and then during the day it would be back to normal and then back up again. And, um, but it was high enough to make me feel sick. I mean, last night was, was really bad. You know, I just really felt like I had the flu or something. Uh, I had the headache, had uh, the, my face felt hot, everything, all that good stuff that you have when you get sick. But and this morning I woke up and temperature was almost back down to normal. And um, so I talked with him and told him what was going on and told him what I did now for a living. And that within the 14 week, win 14 day window, I had still done some bus trips and I was down to Philly and uh, up to Scranton and uh, Nanticoke and where else did I go? Um, 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 well, that's basically at Fort Indian Town. And uh, basically, what he told me was that I didn't meet the criteria for the virus test and to just stay home and uh, continue to uh, not self quarantine, but uh, maintain social distancing. So that's kind of what we're doing, and I feel pretty good again today. The temperature's down, and um, I actually feel a little bit better than I did all day yesterday. But yesterday was a rainy, cloudy, mixed snow type of ugly day, so I don't know uh, if the weather had anything to do with how I was feeling. But I don't feel all that bad today, but we'll have to wait and see again what happens tonight. Um, if it pops up again or if whatever it was is done and over with but what a strange blip on the radar that I had the last two nights with this fever that I've never had before 
you know, no other time in my life did I ever have something pop up at night and then go away in the morning. But, you know, in this uncertain time, you don't know what you have, so you got to get it checked out. And, I mean, they didn't, of course, I didn't get tested because I didn't meet the criteria for it. So we'll never know if I actually, like, have it, but I have a strong immune system and it's trying to kick it out and then it tries to come back and it's trying to kick it out or, or, or what's going on or if it's a totally unrelated type uh situation but just weird that it happened at this point in time when everybody's worried about the virus so i don't know what to say about that but it did uh kind of squash our plans to go to orientation this week and uh need to reevaluate and watch how things go the rest of the week um also have to see what happens with this stimulus package um Right now I'm reading where the feds might cover unemployment up to uh, your working wage, which I would figure would be your wage based on a 40-hour work week, which wouldn't be bad at all. If I could uh, get that, there's no real need to go back to work <laughs> uh, other than to maintain sanity because sitting in the house gets kind of boring after a while. Um, I realize that it's done for the greater good, but it's not easy. You know, you miss going out to dinner and you miss uh, going out to the shopping malls and interacting with your friends. And I'm not a bar drinker or a bar hopper or a dance club person, so, you know, we're not missing anything with that. But just other social interactions that are kind of put on the back burner right now because you, everything is closed or off limits or whatever. So uh, life got tougher, and it will be great when we get back to normal, but... Um, it's all for the greater good, so anyway, that's where we're at. I don't know uh, what's going to transpire from this point. Um, technically, that 14-day window for the virus, um, with me being in uh, high-volume people environments, so to speak, I'm trying to find a good word for it, but um, you know, 40 people on a bus, um, a large group. Um, I still have until Friday for that 14-day window to go by, um, so I'm not out of the woods yet, but it seems like uh, whatever I've got going on has nothing to do with the virus, so we'll see what happens and uh, see if we're going to go back to trucking or if we're going to hold down the fort here at the house and uh, see what the feds come up with with the stimulus package and uh, ride it out here at home.